Hello everyone, welcome to big Ukrainian lesson. In this video I will try to deliver you the most necessary words and phrases which you may need if you want to talk Ukrainian. And we need to start with greetings. If you want to have the basic phrase which you can use in any time, you can use Dobroho dnia. Dobroho dnia. And this word means actually good day in English, but in English this phrase exactly is not widely used, while in Ukraine you can actually use it anytime. Also there is something like good morning, dobroho ranku, dobroho ranku, and good evening, dobroho večera, dobroho večera. If you want to use informal way to say hello or hi, you can say privit. Privit. This word we're using only if you're talking with the people that you know, so it's more informal with the friends, or if you are talking with somebody much younger than you, because if you are talking with the same age like you, or you are talking with somebody older or with some people that you don't know, that would be a bit not nice to say it like that, better to say officially Dobroho dnia. Now let's see how you can introduce yourself in Ukrainian. If you want to say I am John, you can say Ya, which means I, and we're always omitting am, are, is, so we are not saying those words in Ukrainian, so you can just say I, Ya, John, Ya, Jessica, or any other name, Ya. If you want to have more longer way of presentation yourself, you can say my name is. And here you will say Mene, Zvati, John. I am from Ya, Z. Also, if you want to ask where are you from, you can say Ty, Zvitki. Ty, Zvitki. While you're watching this video, you're probably interested in Ukrainian language and many people ask me where they can learn Ukrainian language professionally to speak and a good level. And me personally, I'm not teaching because it's not easy in reality to teach grammar and language and how to talk. But there is a nice YouTuber girl who is teaching Ukrainian language. So don't forget to check in the my description box the link to her channel and her courses. And let us actually move to the questions which you may use in Ukraine. And the first word is where is. And in Ukrainian you will say a de. De. De ty. Where are you? So actually you can use any other extra word and you can ask about where is anything in the world. So there is an extra word. It also means somehow where if you will translate it in English, but if you translate it correctly, it would be to where. And in Ukraine it would be kudy. Kudy. And it means, for example, if you want to say where are you, you will say de ty. But if you want to say where we are going, you need to say kudy. So it's actually the direction. Kudy. The next one, how much? Skilke. Skilke. And this is very normal if you will just point on something and you will ask how much. So that would be very understandable and this is a phrase, this is a word you need to say. Who is this? Хто це? Хто це? And uh, what is this? Що це? Що це? And now we actually move into the phrases which you need to remember to be able to talk and hear something in Ukrainian. Okay, so the first basic number one phrase for anybody who is learning language is how to say I understand and I don't understand. So I understand in Ukrainian will be Ya rozumiyu. Ya rozumiyu. And I don't understand would be Ya ne rozumiyu. And actually this part ne means not. So ya ne rozumiyu, I don't understand. I know. Ya znaju. Ya znaju. And I don't know. Ya ne znaju. Ya ne znaju. I need. Meni treba. Meni treba. I'm searching for. Ya shukaju. Ya shukaju. I want. Ya hochu. 
Я хочу. Thank you. Дякую. Дякую. I'm sorry. Вибачте. Вибачте. You're welcome. Будь ласка. Будь ласка. And also this word we are using if you want to say please. So like give me please, you will say give me будь ласка. How are you? Як справи? Як справи? Take a seat. Сідай. Сідай. And the next phrase is the one that you will really hear in Ukraine very often. Okay, let's do it. And in Ukraine it will sound давай. Давай. Uh, also, this word actually means give it to me. But, and we also use it, but I guess you will really hear it a lot in the case, yeah, let's do it. So if somebody will say, you, oh, let's go to the party today, you can exactly answer давай, which means, yeah, let's do it, that's fine. So remember this word. If you want to say okay in Ukraine, uh, or if you want to agree on something, sometimes we are exactly saying okay, and this is very common word in Ukraine, or you can also say dobre, dobre. And dobre in general it means good and you can use it as good as well, but also we use it if we just want to agree on something. So if you will say let's go to the party tonight and you can answer dobre, which means yeah, I agree. Nice. It means harno in Ukrainian. So for example, if dobre, you can also say about something which is uh, very good or you like it, you can say it's good, dobre. Uh, you like the dish, you like the trip, it was nice evening, you can say for it dobre, dobre, whatever, we have some conjugations, but I guess you need to remain, remember the main word. And harno, it is also somehow means good or nice, but it's just about the things which you can see. So you can talk about girl that she's harna, you can talk about uh, the dress that it is nice, harne, but you cannot say about dish, for example, unless you like the look of the dish, but it's not about the taste. Very nice. In the informal way, you can also say klasno. Klasno. If you will be in Ukraine and you will be invited to someone's house, most likely they will for sure make you a lot of food and they will let you taste it. So whatever you like or you don't like the taste, you need to say that it was very nice, very tasty. And if you want to say that it was very tasty, you need to say in Ukrainian duže smačno. Duže smačno. Also, we need to learn how to agree and disagree with the thing. So if you want to say yes, that would be tak. If you want to say no, you need to say ni. If you want to say I like it, you need to say ja se lublu. This is, by the way, the motto of McDonald's. <laughs> and if you just want to say I like something, so you can say ja lublu, and then you can add what exactly you like. Here is interesting thing about ja lublu in Ukrainian. You can say this phrase actually about everything, about anything in the life, about potato, about girl, about people, about trip. Uh, always you can say ja lublu, I love somehow. But if you want to say I love you for the only girl that you love and that should be the only one girl, you cannot say this to anybody else, you can say ja kochaju tebe. It was nice. Bulo klasno. So, for example, if you was having a lovely evening with somebody and you just want to say, yeah, I had a very great time, you can tell them bulo klasno. That's cool. Це круто. And this is very informal as well, but this is very widely used in Ukraine. If you want to ask for help and you want just to say help, you need to say dopomožit. If you want to ask, is it okay, uh, we are using it well, by word normalno. And it's actually, if you want to ask it as a question, you can just say it as a question intonation, is normalno. And if you want to say it as a statement, you can just say normalno. It means, yeah, it's okay. So it's not very great, it's not bad, it is just fine. If you want to ask, is it correct, you need to say pravilno. And again, if you want to state that it is correct, you can say pravilno. 
Also, we have a phrase indeed, which you can say in Ukraine, точно. I'm happy to see you. Rady bachete. Rady bachete. Prehoj do mene. And this word we are using or this phrase when you want to say come to me in the future. So like come to me this evening or something. So you can say prehoj do mene. If you want to say come to me right now. So you are together with some person and just want to say come, come, come to me. You need to say idi do mene. So it means right now. Come to me. Come with me. Idi zi mnoju. Idi zi mnoju. How can I find you? Jak tebe znajti? Jak tebe znajti? Give me your number. Daj mi svi nomer. Let's drive together. Pojihali razom. I'm done. Ja vse. If you want to say goodbye in Ukrainian, you can say do pobachenja. Do pobachenja. And if you want to say in more informal way a goodbye, you can say just like cheers. You can say paka. If you love this lesson, don't forget to press the like button to subscribe to my channel and write me in the comments which other phrases or words you would like to hear in Ukrainian language.